this it's easy one of the smoothest google tv experience i've tested so far and honestly it's seriously underrated this isn't emulation this is real google tv 40 booting directly from a usb drive or an ssd just like a native operating system and the best part you can run this on all the pcs and laptops you probably already have at home What's going on everybody, it's Badger DI back here again. Google TV 14 has just dropped and today we're going hands-on with the Zenit build, which in my opinion is one of the smoothest and most stable Google TV builds available right now. What makes this really cool is that you can run it portably from a USB drive without touching your main operating system. And if you want maximum performance, I'll also show you how to install it fully to an SSD. If you're enjoying DIY tech builds like this, consider dropping a like and let me know down in the comments if you'd try Google TV on your own PC. For controls, Google TV is very flexible. You can use Bluetooth remotes, 2.4 GHz dongle remotes, game controllers or even a wireless keyboard. Today I'll use my mini wireless keyboard for setup and navigation, the Easy SMX X05 for gaming, and of course a Fire Stick remote for that proper TV experience. So with that out of the way, let's get everything installed. Quick note here, you will find all the links in a pinned comment from where you can get all these files, as you need a ISO, and depending on the storage you might want some data files. Let's start by installing Google TV 14 parent to a SATA SSD. This exact same method also works for USB drives. The only difference is speed. I'm using a 120 gig SSD and I already extracted the ISO files into a folder called Google TV 14 extracted. Open disk management and create two partitions. The first one is 150 megabytes, format as FAT32 and name it something like boot. The second partition uses the remaining space, formatted as XFAT and name it Google TV 14. Now copy the boot files. Uh, files like boot, fe, init, rd, iso linux, kernel and syslinux.cfg to the boot partition. Then move systemsfs and your data.image file. I'm using the 64 gig version for extra app space to the Google TV 14 partition. How safe it is? Well, Microsoft Defender is pretty good at detecting any malware and I can say none was found, but always double check your files so you don't risk any damage to your system. For testing I'm using my Lenovo M910Q Tiny. It is powered by an Intel i5-7500T with 16 gigs of RAM and integrated graphics. Now these tiny PCs are perfect for DIY Android TV builds, I mean they are quiet, they are power efficient and easy to hide behind the TV. The first boot will take a little longer and that's completely normal. Once setup is done, head into settings, then about. And here it is, Android 14. And as for storage, it's showing just 63 gigabytes free, which is plenty for apps, media, and some light gaming. And if you go with the USB install instead, the experience is nearly identical. For reference, this is running on a ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 2 an Intel i7-4600U, 8 gigs of RAM and integrated graphics. I mean that's pretty old hardware, yet 
Google TV 14 still runs surprisingly smooth. One of the first things I like to do is pair a proper TV remote. If you got a Fire Stick or Android TV remote lying around, it pairs instantly over Bluetooth, so no adapters needed. Once connected, the experience feels just like a real streaming box. And as expected, there are info reports we find L3, which means no Netflix HD, but YouTube Flex and Jellyfin all work perfectly fine. I mean, it's especially for local media. Now let's talk gaming. A setup like this is perfect for Android games, light emulation and cloud gaming. First up we have Crossy Road. This works great even with the Fire Stick remote. Red Ball 4 runs perfectly using the EZSMX X05 controller. Magic Rampage also performs great, it's an easy to run game and feels really smooth here. And finally, I wanted to test Moonlight with Apollo. Moonlight lets you stream games directly from your PC, while Apollo handles the server side and makes everything seamless. Here we're running Hogwarts Legacy, streamed from my PC. No connection drops, stable frame rates and very low latency. For all the hardware, this is honestly impressive. And that's the full setup, Google TV 14 Zenith Edition, running from USB or SSD, turning all the PCs into powerful media boxes. If this video helped you, drop a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments. Would you try Google TV on your PC? As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.